What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you're all having an absolutely incredible day I know I am today I'm gonna be telling you guys the story of a time a soccer mom tried to get me expelled because I said something uh, In her words too controversial during a debate tournament I had I've already talked a little bit about how I was a giant nerd towards the end of high school I was super into debate like it was basically my life and yes I know that sounds nerdy. No, I'm not gonna apologize for it because uh, I, I really loved it I think it was one of the best things I ever took place part in school and like if you you're on the fence about doing it, I would say go for it. It teaches you a lot about speaking, teaches you a lot about, you know, politics, all that, all that good stuff that people care about. And overall, I think debate was a great experience. But uh, nonetheless, this is one of my worst experiences I have with one of the best experiences of my life. So when I was in debate, I did this thing where I basically got a topic, uh, a random topic, and I had 30 minutes to write a, a seven minute speech about it. And I don't get to pick my topic. I don't get to pick it at all. Like they give me three and I have to pick one of them. So out of the three, I don't have a choice. And sometimes it was politics. Sometimes it was random stuff. Sometimes it could be Barney, whatever it was I had to make a speech about it in 30 minutes. I did not have a choice. That was what I had to do. That was that was the entire point of going to the tournament, right? So for some reason in this round, I ended up picking a topic that was pretty controversial. I'm not going to tell you guys what it was because I, I don't want to piss anybody off because I care about all you guys and I don't want you guys to get offended. But let's just say it was a pretty controversial topic. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend that I was innocent and I said nothing wrong. Uh, but, but her reaction is, is definitely up there as uh, one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. So whatever, I go into the room, I give my speech, and uh, I guess she really, really didn't like it. And uh, one of the caveats when you're judging these tournaments is that your personal opinion does not matter. Like, I don't care if you eat carrots. I don't care if you don't eat carrots. But if you're giving me a speech about carrots, I don't get to use my personal opinion about carrots to judge you, right? Like, I, A, I don't really get to pick the topic. I picked this topic because it was the best one out of the three that I had. And yeah, it was kind of a controversial topic. But it's not like I really was sitting there like, ah, oh, I'm so stoked to talk about this. I just really didn't have much of a choice. So regardless, I can tell instantly that I really pissed her off because she immediately starts asking asking me, you know, who, who let you pick this? Who let you give a speech about this? And I basically explained to her the rules of the competition and she's like, whatever, I disapprove of what you're doing. And she stops me like five times in the middle of the speech to tell me how much she's mad at the topic I'm talking about. And I'm like, all right, well, you can be mad all you want. There, there's not much I can do about it, lady. Like, listen, I know you're here of your own free will and whatnot, and that's cool, but uh, I don't have a choice. I have to talk about this. You can make me lose. I don't care. I have to talk about it. It's not an option. And maybe that's the difference between some people and me. Like, I'm a realist, okay? I understand sometimes people just have to do their job and there's how much they can do about it. Like, when someone's enforcing their rules or, like, is just doing something because they have to do it, you have to cut them a break because, trust me, they don't want to do it. I don't want to sit here and tell this soccer mom what she doesn't want to hear. She doesn't want to hear me say it. I'm just doing what I have to do. And if you got a problem with that, that's fine. You can bitch and moan all you want on your Pinterest board, on your Facebook mom blog, whatever. I don't care. Just let me get through this and then we're done. So at the end of my speech, she asked me what school I go to and I tell her because I don't really think it's going to be a big deal, all right? Like this is a whole soccer mom. She's wearing yoga pants and everything. I, I really don't think it's a big deal. So I tell her the school I go to and she goes, thank you. So whatever, I go about my business. I go on and, and, and the next few speeches I give, I got the first place in the room, but uh, I, I end up getting a call from my coach and he says, hey, where are you? I need to talk to you. And me and my coach are pretty good friends at the time. So I knew if he wanted to talk to me in person, it had to have been something pretty controversial. Like I was probably in trouble, okay? And I'm not even thinking about the soccer mom at this point because I've never been in trouble for giving a speech. I've given controversial speeches before. I've given speeches people don't like. But at the end of the day, I've never been in trouble for it. Like nobody's ever been like, I'm going to get you in trouble because I don't like what you said. That's stupid. If you don't like what somebody says, don't listen to it, okay? You don't need to go snitching on me to my teacher because he said mean wordy word. Boo, boo, boo. Wah, wah, wah. Crying soccer mom. I know your husband's probably rich and buys you a BMW every week, okay? But that doesn't matter. I don't care. You know, you're not instantly have a better opinion than me. You don't get to like try to get me expelled because you don't like what I said. That's not how this works. But uh, like I said, at the time, I didn't even know that she was involved. I just assumed that there was like a rule thing or maybe, maybe I was in trouble for something that I did at school earlier that day because I was, you know, skipping school a lot at this point. So whatever, I go over to where my coach told me to meet him and I go over there and I see the, uh, the, the head of our debate district thing and the soccer mom. And I'm like, well, this is weird. I'm, I'm not really sure what I did wrong, but whatever. I go over to him and I'm like, hi. And I'm not going to lie. I was pretty good at debate. So the head of the district knew who I was. And uh, obviously we had talked a fair amount. So she knew I wasn't like an evil kid. I, I was pretty good at what I did. And I was not going to apologize for anything that I said. But anyway, she kind of says, okay, Ryan, here's the situation. What did you say to this woman? And I was like, oh, I gave a speech about this. And she's like, no, no, no. What did you say? And I was like, I, I, I said this. And she's like, well, 
that's not what she's saying you said. And she's like, no, no, no. What he said was, and like paraphrases what I said in the worst way possible. Like basically, th this is the situation. I said, I don't like when people eat bananas. And she said, anyone who eats bananas must die. AKA, let's exterminate banana eaters. Like that's what she took it as. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not what I said. And she's like, are you calling me a liar? I'm like, well, yeah, kind of. That's not what I said. And she's like, well, how dare you accuse me of lying? Why would I make this up? I'm like, I don't know, but I didn't say that. And, you know, I think if I wouldn't have been like somebody that they knew had no problems usually with this situation, I'd never really been in trouble before for anything controversial. I probably would have been in trouble. But thankfully, my coach is like, look, 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 I, I know Ryan. He wouldn't say that everyone who eats bananas should die. That's just not something that would come out of his mouth. And she's like, well, it, it did. And I'm like, no, it didn't. It just didn't. Okay, listen, like at this point, I hadn't lost a tournament all year. I'm not going to blow it by saying that everyone who eats bananas should die. Why in the world should I say that? Like, I, I just wouldn't say that. It doesn't make any sense. So the soccer mom basically says, whatever, if you guys won't do anything, I'm going straight to the principal of your school. I'm going to get him expelled. What he said was offensive. And I'm like, oh my God, is this lady actually going to try to get me kicked out of school for something I said that I, I didn't even say? Like, she took it that way. It was literally a situation where I went, hey, I don't like bananas personally, I wouldn't eat them. And she took it as anyone who eats bananas should die. And I'm like, that, that's just not the situation at all. That's not what I said at all, but fine. You know what? Report me to my teacher. And at this point, I'm annoyed with this lady. And she keeps trying to like argue with me about what I said. And I'm telling her I didn't say it. So finally I snap, I call her a deluded bitch. And um, that, that doesn't help my situation. I go on, go about my business. You know, I, I'm pissed off at this point. Uh, but regardless, I don't think anything's gonna come of it. I don't think she actually is gonna follow through. But on Monday, of course, I go into school, and, uh, in my third period, I get a note from the dean's office, and it basically says that I need to go to the dean's immediately. And I'm like, oh my god, this crazy soccer mom actually did it. She actually is going to try to get me expelled for something I never said. So I go to the dean's office, and of course, they sit me down, and they're like, what did you say at this debate tournament, blah, 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 blah. We got a concerned parent that called and said you were making statements, and I'm like, I never said it. Look, like, I can, I can be honest with you here, because at this point, I still wasn't in trouble for skipping class, so, um, you know, I, I still had a perfect record at this point, right? Or, or near perfect. Obviously, I've been in trouble a few times. I'm sure we'll get to those stories eventually. For the most part, I was a good kid. In their eyes. They didn't know a lot of the stuff that I had done. So whatever, I, uh, I basically explained to them what's going on. And they're like, okay, well, they said that you said this. And I'm like, no, I said this. And they're like, oh, that's very different. I'm like, yes, I, I know it's very different because I never said the other thing. It never came out of my mouth. I don't know what heroin this lady's on. She's obviously so bored. She has nothing better to do. But I never said it. And my dean's like, well, you know, we have to open an investigation. I'm like, what, what are you going to investigate? No one recorded it. There's not a recording of me not saying it. There's not a recording of me saying it either. You can't prove I said it. I didn't say it. But like, let's think about this, okay? Let's say I did. I didn't say it. But let's pretend that I said everybody who eats bananas should die, right? No one recorded it. How would they prove that I actually said it? It's just my word against hers. You can't really punish me for something that they don't have proof to prove that I did. That's like arresting somebody because somebody says that they stole a car. You don't have proof they stole a car, but somebody said they did. So you just got to arrest them anyways because, you know, you can't be too careful. What if somebody stole a car? But whatever, they decide that they need to call my parents down and have a meeting about it. And of course, I'm like, are you kidding me? Look, I was what, 17 years old at the time? I'm like, I don't need my mom and dad to come in here and tell you what I just told you because it makes no sense. You can't, you can't convict me of a crime I didn't do and you have no proof of me doing. So my parents have to come in from work, so they're pissed, and they go in, and the dean tells them the situation, and my dad basically looks at the dean and goes, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, except he didn't bleep it out, you know, uh, Susan, I'm sorry, please don't demonetize me, I love you a lot. You can't yell at my son because of something you can't prove he did, like, that's not how this is gonna fly, and the, the dean's like, excuse me, blah 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 blah, and my dad's like, no, like, you can't, you can't do this, look, we can take it to the superintendent, we can have this issue, we can, we can go further, or you can drop it now, but it's gonna be one of the two. And the dean, smartly, was like, yeah, okay, we don't have any proof, like, kinda realized that this is stupid, and some angry soccer mom is just trying to go after me because she doesn't like what she thinks that I said even though I never said it. But regardless, uh, from that point on, I just picked the most least offensive topics of all time. Like, if my options were like, you know, Oreos, Batman, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, 
I was going with Oreos because at least my opinion on Oreos can't piss off any soccer moms. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, guys, the situation really sucked. I hate being in trouble. I hate getting yelled at. And I, I don't like offending people, but if you're going to be a soccer mom judging stuff where we talk about controversial topics, maybe don't be such a potato butthead about it. But on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate you pressing the like button, commenting down below. It really does help out the channel an absolute ton. And uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant. And if you do, make sure they're hot. I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.